Revolutionary greetings, man. This is Hog and Quaid as your core coming at you today, man. Just wanted to drop this video real fast, man. And I'm calling this video the myth of the Hebrew and Jew being originally black. Because a lot of our people get caught up in this color thing, man. And of course we know that Africans was in certain lands in certain places for a long, long time before other ethnic groups came on the scene out of interbreeding, man. So this is what I'm going to try to get a point across to our people is like the Hebrew and Jewish thing is, is, is a part of history, man, that has been totally, totally misinterpreted, man. And as far as them being the original, being black, it's false, man. And I know a lot of people just can't accept that, man, but it's, it's false, man. If, if you do your research, man, I'm speaking of research for us historically, geographically, uh, of Africa, man, and you will see that it will debunk all that madness. Because, see, a lot of people take a lot of these literatures, man, as far as I salute the great grandmaster teacher, um, Dr. Ben, Dr. Yosef Ben Jockman. But this is the point, man. It's a lot of stuff that these great uh, scholars and teachers didn't research, you know what I mean? Because they was working off the information that was provided and the information that they was researching, man. So it's like, we're in a different time. We're in a new era, man, where more information is uh, accessible, you know what I mean? So we're in the information age, man. Computers, technology, I mean, everything, I mean, you got to also do your primary research also and resources, man, because you can't depend on everything that's on the Internet. But my point is being, it's a lot of areas that Dr. Ben and a lot of those people didn't cover. But the thing about Dr. Ben and, and, and the Hebrew thing and the Jewish thing is a lot of people, I think, taking what he's saying and is misinterpreting it. I think when Dr. Ben was speaking of the Hebrews and Jews was in Africa, you know what I mean, original Jew and Hebrew was black and African, I think he was speaking of the people had systems that was indigenous African spiritual systems that he was looking at and he could see where Judaism and the Hebrew Israelite thing and all that come from out of that. But when he was speaking of them being original Jews and, and, and Hebrews, he wasn't saying that the people in Africa was actually calling themselves Jews and Hebrews. You see what I'm saying? So that has been misinterpreted throughout the years, man. Those people he's just speaking of are Kushites. You know what I mean? And they call themselves Kushites. They never call themselves Hebrews. They never call themselves Jews. They were Kushite people with indigenous African systems in place that the Judaism, Hebrewism, Christianity, Catholic, all them people got their concepts and systems from, they took from, to create what they have today in modern time, those names. And those was done by conquerors, Roman, Greek, uh, European conquerors, man. They seen what these indigenous Africans had, these systems or whatever, I have you, and they took from those systems, and they took for those um, original scripts and literatures of ancient Kemet, Egypt, and all those areas. They stole those scribes and scrolls and all that type of stuff, rearranged it, reworded it, took those stuff, and built what you have today, which is the Abrahamic religions and all that stuff, man. And this is, you know where the Hebrew and all that Judaism come from. But first of all, let me get to the word Hebrew. What is a Hebrew? What, is, what does the word Hebrew come from? You see what I'm saying? This is where geographical history comes into text, man. The Hebrew comes from a, a Phoenician, you know what I mean? How can I put it? Comes from a Phoenician type of language and, 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 and um, speaking language, man. But, the Hebrew itself and the Hebrew word and the Hebrew people come from a people called the Habirus. These people are located in the Caucasus Mountains, man, and come from the Caucasus land. They came from Europe, came down into what you call today modern Arabia. 
You see what I'm saying? And when they came down into modern Arabia, that's when you have your interbreeding with other races that's already in that region. And out of those people come your pale skin Arabs. You see what I'm saying? So from the get go, the Habiru's people are European. They're Caucasoids. You know what I mean? And if you can do this research, you can see where the word Hebrew comes from Habirus or Habirus. You know what I mean? However you want to pronounce it, man. And go research that and you will see that that's a fact. You know what I mean? And we just can't forget about the Phoenician scripts and the um, people of Carthage and all these type of people and their effect on this also because a lot of this stuff was stolen from the Carthage Phoenician people, man. You know what I mean? Africans. You see what I'm saying? So I just want you to Revolutionary Greetings, man. Back at you real quick, man. It's part two of the myth of Hebrews, Jews, and Israelites being originally black. I left off on um, the part where I was talking about the Carthage and Phoenician people, man. I just wanted to say, to clear up a lot of stuff, like, geographically, man, these people back then, they went by their original tribes and their original clans' names, man, and the original people names, man. And the original names of these people are not Hebrews, Jews, or Israelites, man. Because if you do your research in that history right there, you would not find that word in no ancient scripts. You would not find that word in no ancient uh, carvings on the walls. You would not find that word um, nowhere in, on no papyrus in none of these lands, man, as far as Cush, Kemet, Punk, Phoenicia, Babylon, and I'm going to go as far as even Samaria, man. You know what I mean? Like, because those are the areas that, you know, you got to uh, look at, like, any part of Arabia, period, man. Because a lot of people don't even know that Israel just recently got that name in this time. The Israel was never called Israel in ancient times. Israel was either called Canaan or either Palestine, man. So that shows you right there that these people didn't exist. No type of those people existed in none of the ancient stories of Africa, none of the ancient stories of, of that region known as uh, Mesopotamia or none of those areas, period. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can do this research, man. It ain't hard to, to put one and two and three together, man. And I just want to make this point, like, none of these words as far as Hebrew, Jew, Israelite, uh, Christian, uh, what else, Catholics, man, all those type of words were not not in ancient Africa when Africa was ruling. When the it, Greeks and the Romans and the invaders, the foreign European invaders, and even Arabs, when these type of people invaded Africa and started their conquest and all these type of things and taking over land in Africa and taking over kingdoms in Africa, like Kemet, for example, when those Europeans, the Greeks, the Ptolemies, and all these type of people invaded Kemet and all that type of stuff, our people were still practicing their indigenous systems, man. Their comedic sciences, their spirituality. It, it was no such thing as a Christian or a Jew or none of that stuff at these times. None of this stuff came into existence until the Europeans figured out that they needed deities and systems of religion and spirituality and all those type of things of their own. So this was a political conquest uh, to, 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 to create their own and, and also to make other people uh, convert to these systems so they can conquer them and control them. It's just purified fact, man. Like, you got to understand, you can't use the Bible in debates for geographical history because the Bible is not, doesn't, it's not a geographical book that can give you the proper information on geographical history in Africa, man. That's just a purified fact, man. You know what I mean? Because that book is relatively new. It's only a 2,000-year-old book, man. You know what I mean? So you got to think about all the historic things that were taking place before 
the Septuagint, the Torah, um, the King James Bible, and all these type of manuals, man. You got to go back further than that. That's, that's the problem with black people. We're stuck on the biblical history in the biblical time and history that was given to us by Europeans. See, the Europeans are not that old on this planet. So they're taking their history and their spirituality and all their systems and uh, their deities of God only goes back to like 6,000 I mean, 6, years, which the Bible says, you know what I mean? Because that's how old the European is, you know what I mean? So a lot of this literature is only 2,000 years old out of their 6,000 year old history in existence on earth, man. So we can't even use none of that bull crap because we are ancient people. We predate any of that type of literature, man, by thousands and thousands and thousands of years, man. So that stuff holds no weight when you're talking about African people and African indigenous spirituality and African names of the people that was in these lands at that time. This is the point I'm trying to get to you, man. Like, none of that came into existence until Roman and European conquest, man. So I'm just letting you know, go do that research, man, because there were not a such thing in ancient Africa antiquity or ancient Africa period of a people called Hebrews, Jews, or Israelites. And I'm speaking of, when I say ancient Africa, I'm talking about Arabia too in that equation because that was African land ruled by African people, man. You know what I mean? And you got to do your research on that. And there were no such thing of those people until uh, the conquests of the Ptolemies and all these type of people when they entered Africa and started seeing that they could no longer, you know, uh, practice or, you know, bow down to black gods and black, you know, theologies and black spirituality, black systems, period. You know what I mean? They couldn't, they couldn't, they knew that they couldn't do that, man. They had to get theirs of their own, so they went and got their own, man. And this is where all these segments of the Abrahamic religions come from, man. Period, man. Just go do your research on the Habirus people, man. Uh, or the Caucasus Mountain that came down in Arabia. And you will see that we're not no original Hebrews, man. We never used those names, man. We got we to gotta get over that, man. You know what I mean? And um, you got to do your research on African names, man. The historical African names of people in those regions and the people that was in Africa indigenously. And you will see that the names Hebrew and all these names never existed, man, period. And um, we also got to get over these stories, man. Like the biblical stories are just what they are. They are stories, man. You know what I mean? Because you got to think about Africans, man. They had no technology. They had no TV. They had nothing to be entertained about. So what was the famous thing that Africans did? They told stories, man. You see what I'm saying? So these stories was incorporated into the, and written down on papyrus and carved on walls. And, and some of this stuff is, you know, astronomical, astronomy history, astrotheology history, uh, cosmology, astrology histories, and all that type of stuff. Those are facts. You know what I mean? Those are actually, you know, real science that they put into stories, man. You know what I mean? See, the thing with the European, they don't want to tell you that in their religious literature. They want you to believe the story, man. You see what I'm saying? So all these Hebrew Israelites, all these cats walking around, man, you got to do better homework than that, man. Because African history predates all that nonsense, man. And none of you cats can go show us no papyrus, no carvings on the wall, no no type of primary resource of manuscripts where any Africans in any of those regions were calling themselves Hebrews or Jews or Israelites before European conquest by the Greeks and Romans on African and attacks on Africa, man. You can't prove it. It's impossible. You know what I mean? Because it don't exist. You know what I mean? So y'all got to cut that mess out and go do your research, man. And I'm, I'm going to sign off on that note, man. Just Pocket Quaid is your man. Go do your research, man. Geographic history. Focus on geographic history, man. And see if any of that stuff lines up, man. Like the exodus, all that madness, all that nonsense, none of that stuff took place in Africa, man. Because Africans never had no people uh, by the name of Hebrews or Hiberus enslaved in Africa, man. Never. You know what I mean? You can't find 
no documents, no, no nothing, man. You see what I'm saying? Like, and let me make this point: Kemetic people, Kushite people, uh, Phoenician, Phoenician people, and even the people in ancient Somali and Punk are well document, documented people, man. That what that means is they documentate their history to the fullest, man. They always recorded their history and kept it recorded. So if none of these people mention none of these names and none of their documented history, what does that tell you? Okay, you know what I mean? So let's cut it out, man. I'm gonna sign off right here, man. Hockey Quaid Shakur, see the Gabriel Prosser, see the Carlos A. Cook, rebuild, free the land.